Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And there are some great announcements this week, including AWS Security Hub is now in general availability. AWS Control Tower is also now in general availability. RDS now supports storage auto scaling. Network Load Balancer now supports UDP. And we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. AWS Security Hub is now in general availability, and this is a great new service which helps you understand the security of your own AWS infrastructure. So you may already be aware that under the shared responsibility model, the customer is responsible for security in the cloud. So think the configuration of guest operating systems and networks, as well as the secure configuration of your own applications. And Security Hub enables you to get a much better understanding of the security profile of your AWS infrastructure by running automated compliance checks based on predefined standards like the Center for Internet Security. And it also includes a dashboard which aggregates findings from existing security tools like GuardDuty, Inspector, and Macy. AWS Control Tower is now in general availability. And Control Tower is a great new service which allows organizations to set up multi-account AWS environments and govern at scale. So with Control Tower, you can create an automated landing zone for new accounts using AWS best practices, including structuring your accounts using AWS organizations, centralized logging with CloudTrail, and configuration management with AWS Config. And you can also use Control Tower to perform ongoing governance, enable pre-configured controls around security, operations, and compliance, and you also get a dashboard providing centralized visibility across all your AWS accounts. RDS now supports storage auto-scaling, and RDS storage auto-scaling automatically scales storage capacity for your database with zero downtime. So this applies to RDS for MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, Oracle, and MariaDB. And all you need to do is set a desired maximum storage limit, and auto-scaling will monitor storage consumption and scale automatically when required. And it can be enabled on new or existing RDS databases for no additional cost. And this is so good because previously you had to manually provision storage based on estimates. And of course, if you over provision, you end up paying for underutilized storage. Network Load Balancer now supports the UDP protocol, which is really great because up until now, only TCP was supported. So this means that you can now use the Network Load Balancer for any services which use UDP. For example, logging, DNS, authentication and authorization services, and IoT. And this is particularly good for latency sensitive applications which rely on UDP because they can now benefit from using a low latency, high performance load balancer. So on to Guru of the Week. And the correct answer this week was D. And lots of you got this one right, but the person with the best explanation is Jennifer Ng. And I hope I'm saying that correctly. And Jennifer is a systems integration solution architect working at Credit Suisse in New York. So congratulations to Jennifer. There's a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card on the way to you in the post. And you are also in the draw to win the free ticket to reInvent 2019. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live. And that is all from me. You've been watching AWS this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time.